What is going on everybody? It is Erock here bringing you guys a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. Today's video, I'm going to show you my render settings and what I think are the best render settings coming out of Adobe Premiere Pro for YouTube. If you find this video at all enjoyable, helpful, um, make sure you leave a like on it and potentially subscribe on your way out. Um, check out the Twitch streams if you feel like it. But uh, yeah, so let's get started. So I wanted to show you guys um, my settings when it comes to rendering videos. I know I've seen people um, talk about why their videos are so pixelated sometimes, even when they record in 1080 and whatnot. So this could be a potential um, helpful tip. Uh, so this video I had going here is completely recorded 1080p, 60 FPS. But when it comes to YouTube, uh, YouTube likes to compress your videos down um, so what you're gonna want to do is first when you go file and export your media I'll show you my settings so first make sure your format is h264 um, the preset I guess you can just start out uh, just do custom then you can name your video whatever it is I think this video is just gonna be an OBS tutorial video so I'll just save that so um, make sure you have export video and export audio here checked. Um, don't worry about the effects tab under the video tab. What you're going to want to do is even though I recorded this video and edited it all in 1080p 60fps, what you want to do is upscale your video to 1440. So what you want to do is uncheck over here and type in 25. 60 by 1440 now you're going to be asking why are you doing this in simple terms upscaling your video to 1440 um if you render your video out in 1080p or under 1080p youtube formats it as an avc video which means that um it makes it more pixelated than normal so when you have a video that's recorded and it looks all nice and fancy on your desktop and then you put it online it looks slightly more pixelated that's because YouTube formats it and compresses it down to an AVC video and what we want is we want YouTube to compress it as a VP09 codec video which usually YouTube only gives that out to videos that get a good amount of views or a high amount of views or videos that are uploaded in 1440p and above. So if we upscale our video uh, while rendering, YouTube will be forced to give you that VP09 setting to give you the best video settings as possible, the best compression as possible with the least amount of pixelation. So like, that's just me going back to saying that's why I'm putting this at 2560 by 1440 frame rate. I'm having it at 60 FPS. Uh, field order progressive aspect ratio square pixel make sure uh, all that is good and ready to go as far as your profile you want to put this at high and your level you want it set at 5.1 then make sure you click this render at maximum depth doing all this stuff is going to make your video render out longer than normal so make sure you have the time and you're patient enough with it it's going to add time to rendering it out and make sure you have the space available because it's going to make the file larger as well just keep the stuff in mind while you're going through this when it comes to bitrate i've seen people use both vbr and cbr if you use vbr i highly suggest doing two pass that basically makes um premiere pro render it out twice um, i don't really have confident settings for vbr you can put probably anywhere between like 25 on the top line to 50 on the bottom line if you choose to. Um, I choose CBR and I make mine 50. Then I leave the rest of the stuff blank. In the audio tab, just make sure you're on AAC. Make sure your sample rate is the same across Windows and all of your other settings and everything else you're using. And make sure you have this on stereo and audio quality high. The other tabs here, I don't touch. There's nothing to really worry about there. Once you're done with that section, just make sure you have use maximum render quality checked. After you have all that said and done, you just come down here and hit export. That's all you do. These are the settings I find to be the best. Um, it's going to take a little bit longer, but 
the quality itself is going to be better in the long run and it's well worth the wait. So that's what I've been doing lately on my videos. Um, it just gives less pixelation to YouTube. It forces YouTube to put you on the VP09 settings no matter how many views you get. So I hope that was a little helpful tip to help your guys' videos out. If you did find it a little bit helpful, like I said in the beginning, make sure you leave a like on the video and potentially subscribe on your way out. And again, just reiterating, if you want to watch the YouTube streams, uh, links for everything going to be in the description box down below. Thank you guys for the support as always. And you know what? I'll see you guys in the next one.